Good morning. I'm in a very good mood today um, because the sun has finally decided to come out again. Um, we've had a few days of really bad weather, which I hear you have also been having in England. Um, if you're in England, if you're not in England, then I'm not sure what the weather's been like. Um, and yeah, it's just been really rainy and everyone's just ready for the summer to start here in Jersey, which I think it kind of is now. Um, so I'm having a bit of an at-home day today. Um, I've got um, lots of things I need to do around the house and um, some work to do. And I thought I would take today to do my Q&A, which I've been promising you that I would do ever since I said I was coming here. Oh, who's that? Who is that? Is that a visitor? Who is that? How dare somebody drive up to our house? <laughs> She's on guard all the time here because she doesn't really understand yet that this is our new home. Still haven't found an aluminium free deodorant that is decent enough to use. Um, please let me know if you find one. I tried the um, Japanese one which some of you recommended. I really didn't like it at all. A couple of you sent me the ones that you put on your fingers and then apply it as a cream, but I kind of don't like the idea of that. I'd really like a stick. So keep on sending them because um, I'm on the hunt. I just had so many questions from you guys and I have had ever since I put that video up saying I was coming here, even now, like every day, you guys messaging me and I'm trying to reply to you all. I'm so bad at replying to my own friends on messages and they know that so um i really try and like keep up with messaging you guys back as well but i just thought this video would like really explain everything um because there have been so many questions about like me moving here how did i uh, like where am i living um because uh, some of you may know you can't just buy or rent in jersey it's not the same like you literally can't move here there are lots of rules around that so i wanted to explain about how i did that and how i managed to come here um about b like what's happening with b when i work um about my partner like do i have a partner um out here is that why i've moved there were lots of questions about that um lots of questions about work lots of questions about family like why jersey how long am i coming here for do i know people here um just like so many questions so this is gonna be um literally everything laid out all of those answers there's nothing that i'm not going to answer because um i really want to be completely open with you and um yeah just tell you everything basically about why i came here and my life here so um yeah i'm gonna um get ready and i thought i'd answer a couple of questions whilst i'm getting ready one of the questions was apart from like my home like what did i bring over i bought everything except my furniture so i have all of my stuff here with me so like my all my setup that i had when i was at home and then my beauty stuff over there sorry it's a little bit of a mess it's washing day so i'm like getting everything so i have all my beauty stuff here um which is just so good because it feels like i'm not away from home yeah so um i'm having a bit of a bad skin day today um well for me anyway because i don't usually get spots anymore um i'm dealing with like all the elements, sun, sea, sand, waves, um, breakups in my routine. <laughs> so I've gone back to this um, Santa Flor, what is it actually called? Skin Perfecting Essence. I've had this for ages, not this one, um, but it's really good. Like I'm not a fan of toners. I've said this before. I really don't see the point in them. Um, sorry, that's probably a really bad skincare thing to say, but, um, when I found this one, it's like that shower gel that tingles all over your body, but on your face, and it, like, you just feel it pulling everything out. Anyway, when I'm having bad skin days, even when I'm not having bad skin days, I just put this on. And then I've been, um, using, I talked about this on my Instagram stories, oils to calm everything down. This is my little Darfin. This is the rose um, one that everybody was like loving. It's such a nice oil. And I'm really struggling to get to grips with what my skin is trying to do out here. So oils right now are helping a lot. Um, the rose one is like quite calming. I mean, all the freckles are out, aren't they? Which I love. So one of the first questions 
was about B, which pretty much like, I've never had so many questions when I posted my work video about what I do for work. In fact, that's something I also wanna say. A few of you got really confused when I posted that video and I'm so sorry if you got confused because genuinely I was so tired because it was like five days at sea that I, I probably should have explained it like a little bit more um, because to me like working on a boat, obviously I know what that means, but um, I realized I didn't go through like my day to day of exactly what I'll be doing. And that was also kind of because I hadn't actually started my job yet. So I didn't really know exactly what I would be doing but I'm working on a boat and that means crewing. So that can be anything from um, like cutting sandwiches, cleaning, um, helping with ropes, helping to sail a boat, helping people on the boat um, and um, taking photos when people are on there and um, just all sorts of stuff basically. And we've got lots of different boats from sailing boats to power boats to ribs. Um, to racing boats so I'm going to be doing lots of different like either day trips or joining people when they're racing across like Jersey um, and um, basically helping Max out who you met um, or you'll have seen no you haven't met him in a video yet because I really actually I want to do a video with Max um, right Max if you'd like to see a video with him because he's who I'm going to be working with like all the time um, and he's so lovely um, so I'd really like to do a video with him um, and he lives on a boat which is really sweet so I feel like we could do his routine of like waking up on a boat um, anyway so I'll be helping Max and um, doing some videos as well and filming and taking photos and um, just like it's quite a community people here on boats so you end up kind of doing a lot of stuff that's very varied that doesn't really have a job description one of the biggest um questions that i had when i post that video is what will i be doing with b um whilst i um have um I, by the way i'm just gonna put on a 30 today um because i'm staying indoors i've been wearing 50 every other day um but i've been using the murad um this is the vit vitamin c or essential c um spf 30 which i was using at home and i loved um so yeah with b um some of our trips like most of them are only a couple of hours long so I don't have to leave her for very long, which is really good because at home I used to leave her for about a maximum of four hours at home. I don't like to leave her for really any more than that. Um, so that's really good obviously here because some of the mornings that I work, I don't have to leave her for very long. So I can take her for a really long walk in the morning and then I can come back home at lunch and let her out and spend the rest of the day with her. Um, and then if I have a longer trip, um, then I have friends out here um, and that's something that I'll answer later in terms of why I came here but I have people here that are able to um, look after her and to be honest she has made so many friends um, I actually like so many people want to have her every day and just look after her and she is already so well known like where we're living people like want to have her in the cafes and like like see her every day it's so sweet and so um i've just been so lucky because there are so many people living around me that like please let us have her for like the evening and the night and we can look after her and she's making some dog friends which is really good um so i've got a lot of help with her in terms of if i need anyone to look after her at any point in time she is going to be coming on um the boat probably at some points with me and I really want to introduce her to that but I'm just a little bit nervous about her being on the sea at first so I've started paddle boarding and I'm gonna start taking her on the paddle board because she loves the ocean she loves the sea and I'm gonna get her a little life jacket and start taking her on the paddle board just so she gets used to the ocean which a lot of dogs do out here um and then I will probably be able to take her on a couple of sailing um, boats um, and obviously keep her below deck and stuff, which a lot of people do out here. They have their dogs on their boat, um, which would be really nice, but I'm just phasing her into that because um, she has really bad anxiety. And although she loves the ocean and she like runs into the sea as soon as she sees it, I just wanna make sure 100% that she is comfortable with being on a boat. Just gonna move you around because I'm doing a little bit of a um, quick um, 
every time I have a day at home, I'm like body tan. Um, I'm really pale, like I'm the back to 50, like stay in the shade girl. And compared to all the girls and the guys that are working on the boat, I'm just really like feeling a little bit pale. So I wanted a bit of color. Um, and my skin has been so dry um, out here. I think again, it's like the wind. Um, so I'm lathering this on, um, I'm almost finished, uh, this is my Aveeno, um, yogurt body cream, um, and I love it, you guys know I'm an ambassador for them, um, but I feel like I'm doing an Instagram post, this is not part of my ambassador partnership with them um i just freaking love this body cream that was actually a question that a lot of you guys um asked me and it's really funny you picked up on this because obviously it's something i think about all the time but i didn't think you guys would even think about this um and i'm really happy to be open and honest with you about this because it's obviously a big part of my life but um you asked if i was worried that coming here would affect the work that I do with brands because of the distance obviously um, I'm not in England I'm not n not not that I'm not near London but a lot of the brands and people that I work with are in London and was I worried um, that I wouldn't be able to go to events and also that my content would change and I really like talking about this so I'm really glad um, a lot of you were messaging me as well asking me about how it would change and yeah it's definitely a huge thing that I thought about um, but I actually lived in Nottingham before which a lot of you guys know and ironically it takes me less time and it's cheaper to fly from Jersey to London than it used to be getting the train from Nottingham to London and so in terms of like meetings and events, um, I'm still going to be traveling back to London. That is something that I am still gonna continue to do because I really um, like to be able to like meet people face to face, especially when I'm working with them. And obviously if I've got events, like I'm flying back, um, no, I'm not flying back, we're getting the ferry because B and I are both going. Um, I'm going back next month um, with Avino. Um, that's a trip already in. So all of these types of things, I am going to be going back occasionally for things, um, probably once or twice a month, maybe like once a month and then like do meetings either side. Um, but I feel like also um, working with brands has changed a little bit. So when I first started, I used to have to be in London like at least two days a week maybe more and everything was very like based in London and now it's changed and I was really only in London even when I was in Nottingham maybe once or twice a month so it won't really change me because a lot of the communication I have with people that I work with is over email or over Skype um and that's great it's always allowed me to like work from home and it's why I never moved to London and it's why you don't need to be in London um to do this um and also um a lot of you guys that are blogging or starting up you don't have to be in London um and so the other element of it is would was I worried about like my content changing and brands and working with them absolutely like my content is going to change um, in a sense that um, I just think it's going to be more interesting hopefully because I was really sort of stuck in a rut in Nottingham and um, you know I was creating the same thing over and over again just because that was my life there um, and I wasn't waking up every day thinking right let's just fake something that genuinely was just my life so um, it you know like I guess that might be why some people's content gets stuck in a bit of a rut because it is your genuine life. So here, um, obviously my life's completely different. Like I'm out on the boats and I'm living in a new place and I'm out and about. And I was really excited about that. And when I decided to come here, it was a, actually a positive for me. And I was thinking, I am really excited about the stuff that I'm gonna be able to film for you and the photos that I'll be able to take. And I actually personally would be more interested in watching that than watching my old content um, at home. So I'm really excited and I really hope that, um, you know, a lot of the brands that I already work with will still continue to work with me. And I really hope I have your support too with that. Um, and as you can see, like, all of the stuff that I had at home that I use, I've bought here. So I'm still gonna be using all my favorite beauty things. Um, I'm still gonna be talking about all the lifestyle things that I would genuinely have in my life. 
Um, so I'm really excited about potential like future brands and partnerships and them supporting me out here in Jersey um, and really just branching out a little bit into stuff that I maybe haven't done before. I've done like um, a base tan and then I bought this out to try because my mum really liked it. Um, and it's the Vita Liberata Gradual Tan. I've never done gradual tans because I'm a little bit lazy in the sense that I'll just do it for events and then whack on like an instant tan. But I thought I would try um, this one so I can just do it like really quickly in the morning and then just constantly have um, a tan. Yeah, that's what I thought it looked like. So it's like a white um, lotion. I love the Vita Liberata. Um, instant tans i've got their um tan out here actually at the moment with me uh is it the phenomena phenomenal phenomena -la -la? that's the one that i really like but that's like a mousse that goes on dark um and the only other thing i've done on my body so moisturize and the only other thing i've changed is scrub oh my gosh my skin like i put a picture up on my hands the other day they're like flaking so badly um, and the only thing that has made it go away, I've been packing on the Aveeno and then um, I used this, which has been really lovely, um, Elemental Herbology. I was just about to say something completely different. Ele Elemental Herbology. Um, I used their skincare loads when I was younger. This was in Space NK, I think, and I used to use all their skincare. It was so beautiful, and I didn't even realise they had body stuff. Um, but this is the Coconut Shell Cream Body Scrub. It is so moisturising. I was really struggling to find um, a scrub that was so moisturising at the same time as scrubbing, because my skin has definitely got drier. This is such a beautiful scrub i cannot like i've had my little bath time routine with that so i did that last night and scrubbed everything off and then i'm just gonna apply this it says body and face but i really think i'll just put it on my body glow develops over four to eight hours so i'm just gonna try and then we'll see later today what it looks like it doesn't smell of anything that's good because it doesn't have the tan smell so i'm interested to see how a gradual tan works compared to a mousse i love cleaning but the one thing i hate doing um is stripping beds and making the beds again um but i do like cleaning which is good so i used to do this like way more at home so i'm kind of getting back into my cleaning routine i actually bought all of my own cleaning products over to jersey um so i bought all my natural method stuff which i just love um i got into cleaning like properly from mrs hinch i love her instagram oh my gosh if you don't follow her i'm gonna link it below and it really helped me when i was like especially with like anxiety and stuff i just got into cleaning and um it just was so therapeutic anyway these are some of my favorite ones because they are good around pets and they are natural and i like them more cleaning and stuff i literally when i say i bought everything i bought everything out um this is my little um handy washing up thing you know so you don't have to like pour the washing up liquid in it just comes out of this and you scrub it this has got a natural like yope soap in which i use for washing up and then my cloths and then i even bought my own hand wash this is really cool i didn't even realize simple did um hand washes i just thought it was just skincare and this is so nice oh my gosh it's like mint and i actually found this out in jersey which was hilarious and i went and bought like three bottles of it for the house because it's so so nice when you wash your hands obsessed with cleaning hinches if any of you are watching you will understand <laughs> thought i'd sit down just to answer a few more questions i feel like i'm turning brown brown already i don't know maybe it's just in my mind um i've just been living in wear since i've been here i bought all of my clothes out like heels dresses everything and i've just been living in comfy wear this is my um i think it's booty and uh, my leggings and my 
uh, top. It's like bamboo. It's so comfy. Um, so yeah, I was going to talk about some of the other questions. So I'm looking down because I wrote them down because there are so many that you were asking. Okay, so home-wise, one of the biggest things that you were asking me was how did you move? Um, and also asking did you buy or did you rent? So this is a really big topic that um, I was just trying to explain um, in the easiest way because I know there was a little bit of confusion on my first video. First of all, um, it's easier for me to explain where Jersey is, which is a lot of um, was a lot of the questions that a lot of you were asking. New, Jer New Jersey is in America. Jersey is a Channel Island, and it is really near to France and it actually is not part of the UK. And when I said in my video that I was moving abroad, um, Jersey is not part of the UK. And it is like governed by some of the monarchy. So we've got like basically England, like the UK will look after Jersey if they need it in certain ways, but it is like, it's got its whole own system and it's so separate to all of that um and the easiest way is to just have a look on wikipedia because it explains it a lot better but it's it's separate so they have their own um, money here so they have jersey like one pound notes um you can use british pounds here um but you will they have their own money so it's not the same as england um and also because of that I do not have the right to live or work here and it's actually stricter moving here than anywhere else I have known abroad and um, you're not allowed to rent a house, you're not allowed to buy a house and you're not allowed to work here. Um, so it's very very difficult and there are some ways around it so you can get a license to rent if you come over with an essential job to the island. Um, or you can come over like I have, which is as a registered person, and I'm not going to bore you with that, but basically it means that they have a number of houses on the island that you are allowed to rent as a person like me who has no housing qualifications and no right to live here. Um, and um, you have no entitlement to anything, you um, cannot um, get jobs um, that are like not for non-registered people. So without boring you in terms of the, the kind of complications of it, it's not England, it is not the UK, you can't just move here and it was actually one of the hardest moves I have ever had to do to the point where I didn't think I was actually going to be able to live here because it's just so difficult and you have to really like hunt and wait for a house to become available and then you have to like jump on it um, to get it and so it was not quick like I couldn't just wake up and then the next week move here so I had to put a lot of things in place um, to do that. Um, and so there was another question, are you giving up your English um, citizenship? Um, no, I'm not because um, I don't need to because um, as I said, it's, it's not, I'm not becoming, I'm not able to become a resident of Jersey. You have to have been living here for 15 years to apply for, to be able to rent or buy a house or to be a resident here. So I will have to wait 15 years until I could become a resident of Jersey. So yeah, also obviously, I, just in case that isn't clear, I haven't bought a house here. I'm renting a house, um, which is funny because I've obviously owned my house um, for a long time. So from going from like a home, own, home owner to renting um, has been a bit different, but um, yeah, it's worked out fine. And that actually leads on to another question that a lot of you are asking, um, what is happening to all your houses in the UK? So if you watch this video um, a few months ago, I did a video talking all about how um, my work that I do offline, which is um, lots of different things, but one of those um, things that I run, I let um, houses out. So I have a number of buy to lets and I um, do that. And there's a whole video on like, um, I might put that below actually, just telling you about how I got into it and what I um 
how I do it and so the answer to those questions is I am still going to be renting out all of those houses everything is going to stay the same obviously my home that I was living in has also um, been added to that kind of group um, so um, everything is staying the same and again that's another reason why I'll be popping back occasionally um, because I'm just about to sell one of them and buy um, two more so I'll possibly be coming back to just view that and see if that house is right to buy um, so I'm still going to be managing all of that from here um, and carrying on with renting those out because I really enjoy the property like side of things another question was uh, are you going to be doing a house tour the short answer is no um, and the reason being, there's two reasons. Number one, um, I said I wasn't gonna do that in my last place because I have decided that I just like to keep a little bit of my house private and because I put so much of my life online, um, I would like to have um, a little bit of stuff that's private for me, which I'm sure you guys absolutely understand. Um, but the second thing is Jersey is really small. Like I think there are just over 100,000 people here. I think that's right so it's really tiny so if I did like a full house tour and even show you like the outside most people would know where I'm living um, and um, so like they'd literally know the street and so it's not the same as England in terms of it's like huge it's really tiny then some of you um, in fact a lot of you are asking this um, do you worry that you'll feel lonely um, after you've been there for a little while and how did your family take the news because you were so close to your family some of you actually asked are you moving with your mum and sister as well um and so yeah i did really really worry um that i would feel lonely i'm actually doing a video next week um that sort of talks about this in a little bit more depth i'm really excited for that to go up because it's all about moving to a new place and what you can do to meet new people because i really miss just my friends popping in for a cup of tea and that is like i don't miss like i can talk to them because we're on facetime and i'm trying my best to keep in contact with them every single day i ring like at least two people at home so I feel like I'm with them but what I miss is like just people popping in for a cup of tea and already I've been really lucky because I am obviously out and about with work so I'm meeting a lot of people but um, I knew that I was going to have to really step out of my comfort zone and as an adult it's really hard to do that to like meet new people um, and those moments like I said it's not like the really big things it's just the little things that I definitely miss and I've had moments where I've thought I really miss that person or home or but then I've just put Netflix on and I've tried to get back into my routine like as quickly as I can um and um the the thing about how did my family take the news um because you're so close to them I am really close to my mum and sister and my friends um Holly and I lived together for years and years and years and um it was a really big decision like I told my mum and sister first before I told anybody else um and um I have not moved with them they've stayed back at home and they have not been out here yet they will be visiting but I haven't I haven't seen them out here so it was like important that I kind of settled um but to be honest from the moment that I told them my mum and my sister like I don't think my sister quite believed me at first she was like I don't understand you're like what, you're gonna be on a boat and then she was just laughing and then she was like this is crazy this is absolutely crazy but she was like this is amazing and um then my mum was silent when I told her and then she went this is what you need to do she was like this is this is it I think it's safe to say the past um, year or so was um, incredibly tough. Um, I know I don't need to uh, expand because a lot of you guys have been with me all the way through that, which um, I'm incredibly grateful for. Um, and um, there were definitely lots of challenges um, and things, tough things that I have had to navigate my way through. Um, but at the end of the day, um, 
shit things happen to people and um, lots of people go through difficult times and I'm one of those people that has always been determined to bounce back as quickly as possible um, but ultimately when I started to feel like myself was like again at the beginning of this year I just sort of felt like I was treading water and I thought what am I like I just don't feel like I'm living if that's a weird sense like obviously I felt I knew I was living but I just didn't feel like I had purpose in my life and that's a really sad thing to say isn't it but I watched all my friends that had like got their families or they were with someone or they had a really good job that they loved and I just felt really without purpose because I'd built up lots of different things in my life but ultimately I'd been looking forward to another chapter um, and when that doesn't happen you you know it's not that you need to replace it with something but I think you just need to feel fulfilled and fulfilled in something for yourself and so when I told my mum she was like this is it like this is what you have to do this is the, the 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 best thing that you have decided to do and she was like I'm gonna miss you well actually first she said I'm gonna miss B and then she said she was gonna miss me but she was like you have to do this for you you have to go off and get your confidence and get back anything that you kind of lost and build something for yourself in your life that makes you feel good that gives you something else in your life to focus on and there's a really good quote, differentiating the things in your life that you can't change and the things that you can. And there were certain things in my life that at that very point in time, earlier this year, I could not change. You can't take away any of the feelings or like things that are going on that like, there are a lot of things in life that you will never be able to change, bad things. But there will be lots of things that you can do that are good, that will bring happiness into your life. And Jersey was that for me. And um, even since I've been here, like I feel so different. The moment I decided I was moving here, everything changed. My mindset changed, my positivity, my work stuff. I was just so excited for like new things that I could do. Um, it just like literally in a second, my mindset changed. And um, it didn't take away any of the things that perhaps that I was sad about, but it um, brought all this new stuff that I could focus on. And it has been the best decision. And that was something that a lot of you said to me that you were thinking about going somewhere where you needed a change, do it. Like if you're unhappy in your job, just, just do it. Like leave, find something that you love. I cannot tell you that has been the most uplifting incredible thing that i have ever done and obviously i got like work out here everything in my life changed um i've put on a stone which is so good like i feel healthy i feel happy i feel positive and um i miss my family so much and i miss my friends so much but this is the best thing i have ever done in my life and every single person that knows me in my life knows that i had to get on that, that ferry and they are have all been so happy for me coming here washing is on i am just um heading out to the beach just put some a little bit of makeup on the jacket it's like warmer but just need a bit more warmth um and i'm gonna take you quickly to one of my favorite beaches um called st brillard's in jersey which is on the south and it's a really big lovely beach with lots of restaurants and bars and b loves walking there um so we're just gonna pop there for today's little um walk and then come back and finish all the things that i have to i will be showing you all over the island in my vlogs and um i am going to be taking you to like some of my favorite places over the next few months and just showing you all the bits that i love all the bits that i find um so each week i'll try and take you somewhere new and that leads me to the biggest question i think that you asked me and it was why jersey um some of you said was it work or was it a complete coincidence some of you were like that's just the most random place like why um 
and in amongst that I also had questions um, are you moving for a, a partner do you have someone there and the answer is no I do not have a partner here in Jersey um, and um, I would definitely be open to um, a relationship obviously in the future but right now I don't um, have someone in my life um, like that anyway and um, so the reason why I came here was because Jersey has actually been such um, it's like a home away from home for me and I don't know if I've ever talked about this to you before I feel like I have but maybe it was just missed but basically um, when we were kids and we were younger right from like even when i remember being able to walk we had a boat here in jersey in the marina and we would live in england and then we would come over to jersey and live on the boat and so i learned to sail in jersey and we spent most of our summers here and i grew up really until i was a teenager um spending so much time here getting to know the island and um, all my memories really um, of growing up are here. My friends have been here with me. We used to bring our friends over from England and they'd stay on the boat. So a lot of my best friends have been here with me. Um, so it's really had such a special place in my heart and my family's like heart. It's always been my home away from home. I have continued to come back here almost every year since and it's somewhere that I just feel at home. It doesn't feel like I, like when I, whenever I get here, I just always think I'm home and Nottingham has never felt like that for me, but Jersey has. And even some of the people that I know here, um, they, when they found out I was coming, they were like, you're home. And I am home when I'm here. And so, it didn't feel like I was going somewhere completely new. I had already had a little bit of experience like living here, although it was on the water. But of course a lot's changed and it was a huge thing because I've only ever been on the sea. I've never been on the land. Um, and you know, it's so different when you're living somewhere just compared to visiting. So it was really new very um very daunting at the same time but also I kind of had a well I did have a massive connection to the island um and um it wasn't a coincidence either it wasn't like I just did Edi Meeny Miny Mo on a map and decided to come here um there was a really big reason why so I'm gonna show you one of my favorite beaches now An hour and a half later. <laughs> I can't take B anywhere here without like everybody stopping her. She has made so many friends and I pop out for like a 20 minute walk and then half an hour, an hour later, we're still, still chatting, still meeting people. <laughs> Makeshift manicure table on my bath. Um, I love this color. I never ever wear like dusty pinks um, and I really, really like this. Um, it's chipped um, because I was working at the weekend um, and it's called Love Me Tender by Nailberry. This is like one of the free from um, nail polish brands. And yeah, I think I got this in a subscription box and it wouldn't usually be a color I would choose, but I really like it with a bit of a tan. So I'm just topping that up. Right, so I am going to love you and leave you. I'm going to work um, outside because the sun has fully come out now.
and I hope that answers some of your questions. If I've missed any, please write them below this video. I will try to answer as many of those if I've missed anything off, but I think that was like the majority of them. Um, and I kind of wanted to do it like this in my day as well as um, rather than just sitting down with you and show you a little bit of Jersey and what's to come. Um, but I'm so, so happy to be here and, and to have taken you guys on this journey as well. And yeah, I'm settling in, I'm loving it. And I can't wait to show you guys more of my new life here. Mwah, bye bye.